I'll never forget my first Moroccan restaurant experience over 40 years ago, especially the dessert platter. It was just fresh fruit, dried fruit, and nuts. Sweet, savory, and simple. So let's show you how to make one. I'm David Jackson. 40 years ago, I was cooking in swanky hotels and winning awards from the American Culinary Federation. 30 years ago, I hosted a nutrition-conscious cooking series for the Hospital Satellite Network. 10 years ago, despite half a century of good eating habits, I found out that I wasn't immortal. And I'm not alone. Can doctors' orders to moderate salt, fat, and refined carbs share our plates with mouth-watering gourmet recipes? Yes, they can. Any self-respecting Mediterranean dessert tray starts with dates. So if you'll zoom in close, I want to show you just how to split it open. Take out the pit, and we're going to stuff it with a half of a walnut. That goes away, and one of these beauties right here goes in, just like that. And that creates a perfect package, absolutely perfect. Dates have potassium, B vitamins, and loads of fiber. And then the walnuts have omega-3 fats, so it's, it's absolutely perfect. What we do, we've got several of them lined up already, so we're going to quarter the tray with the dates. Like that. There we are sectioning things off. Next is a pear. And we're going to slice through it, but not all the way to the top. We're going to leave a little hinge on the top. And what we're doing is quartering it so people can just take a section of it themselves. See how it flares apart? And we'll just put that right in the middle like that. Let's get it nice and pretty out in front for you. Okay? So there's the basis for our tray. Then let's put in, there's two components that are dried fruit, some apricots, like that, and then some dried figs. Actually, we can get this whole chunk and put it in right here like this. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, just about getting a lot of this lovely food in the tray. There we go. In fact, I might put a few more apricots in. Plump it up a little bit. There we are. Then the two fresh fruit components besides the pear are fresh figs. These are my absolute favorite. When fresh figs are in season, I'm a sucker for them. Like that. And then some lovely red flame grapes. I think that's probably enough right there. Okay, so that's all the fruit elements. Now the nuts. So now we just add some pistachios and almonds, just like that, right there. Now one other thing I'd like to mention is you can always bring whole walnuts and whole almonds into the act and let everyone use a nutcracker because that just helps a lot. It gives you something to do. You're earning what you eat and it's more sociable that way. But I just uh, put them in these little goblets for you as well. And that's about it. You've got dried fruits, which by the way, dehydrated fruit has less water. It also has some less nutrients. So fresh is best. The fresh fruits have a little more, they pack a little more punch. Uh, there's more, uh, you, you get more chew for your calories, so to speak. All right, so that's about it. I think you'll love it. I do. So there we have it. A naturally sweet and savory dessert with no cooking or baking required. Ripe fresh fruit, healthy nuts, and tender dried fruit. What could be simpler, more satisfying, or sociable to end the meal?